Hello, in this video we are going to be exploring the creation of a bootable flash drive containing a Windows installation. In particular I am going to set up a flash drive that will hold the installation of Windows 2008 R2 Silver. The first thing that I'm going to need to get in order to create this bootable flash drive is something called the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Now despite its name it does not mean that you can only use it for Windows 7. Uh, in this case I'm going to um, you can see the link where you might be able to get it and please note also that if you are using an older operating system such as Windows XP it, you can't just get the download tool only you could also need to get the Microsoft.NET Framework 2 and there's a link to download it as well as Microsoft Image Mastering API version 2 and here's the link but this for newer operating systems this is the version that you will need to get so it will take us clicking that link would take us to the page where we can actually do the download and you just click on the download link and that should be fine in my case I already have that download tool so I am simply going to run the installation and we're going to go through the setup wizard and most of the setting in fact there aren't really any settings you just it's just sim simple default settings so we hit finish and now we are going to actually run the installation I'm sorry run the, the tool okay they actually installed it to the desktop so I'm just going to pin this to the start page and I'm also going to run it so we click yes and here it asks me to choose my ISO file um, so I'm going to browse to the file location and this is the file here so I'm going to this is the ISO file so I'm going to hit open after selecting it hit next and in this event I'm going to choose use a USB device I can also have done this to make a bootable DVD but I'm just going to use a USB device and it has found my flash drive that is already in the machine so if you don't see it you just hit the refresh button until it locates the USB flash drive so I'm going to begin copying and it's going to give me a warning that when I do this it's going to erase the USB drive so if you have any data that you require please back it up otherwise if you allow this to go through any data you had on it previously is going to be erased note of warning so we're going to hit erase USB device and we get an additional warning so we hit yes and it will begin formatting and creating the bootable uh, files so here you see it's actually copying the files and it's probably going to take a few minutes
okay I've just unpaused the or resumed the video uh, as we are very close to the completion of the creation of this bootable USB flash drive you would appreciate that it will take some time given that most of these operating systems are between 2 to 3 gigabytes in size so it will take a while to erase and copy the files onto that flash drive and there it's finished and if we wanted to we could start over and create another uh, bootable flash drive using either the same OS or a different OS Windows of course so that's it and if we now go to our Windows Explorer we can see the flash drive here that was just created and we can see all of the files that are required in order to make this to be, to be able to boot from this flash drive thank you very much for watching